everybody, welcome! My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and I'm here with part 2 of my playthrough of Terraforming Mars, an awesome game. And well, last time I did the intro with the setup, with the first buying of cards, which took quite a long time, it was a longer video, but this time we're going to play, we are going to Generation 2, in which we are going to try to terraform Mars. So, first thing that happens in a round is we are going to get new cards. Well, we get the chance to buy new cards. So, that's called the research phase. So, we get to draw four cards from the top of the big draw pile. And, well, these are the cards I've gotten. Let me take a look and let's see which ones I'm going to buy. So, these are the two cards I'm going to buy. So, they cost 3 million each, so we pay 6 space credits all right and they go into my hand there we go all right and then we can start doing our actions so we did our research and now we're going to do some actions let's see all right so we have quite some things that i want to do first of all i'm going to hmm, i had a plan don't you worry i had a plan i'm going to play pay seven Again, seven space dollars, that means we get three back to here. And I, I'm going to use these space mirrors again, which uh, give me one energy production. Why am I doing that? Because I'm going to play a domed crater now. So the domed crater, we can only play it if oxygen is not higher than 7%. Well, we're still at zero, so <laughs> everything is okay for that. And we pay 24. I'm going to pay them in steel, which means we get two credits for each steel we pay to, for, to play this card. So we need 12 steel, which we have. There we go, 12 steel. And now we can play this card. Let's see what happens if we play it. So it has all the symbols, we can also read it. So it says auction must be 7% or less. Gain three plants. Let's do that first. So we take three cubes and put it on the plant spot on our player board. Then we have to decrease our energy level by one. So we just raise it. That's why I did it. So we can do that. And then we can increase our money production by three. I think that might be very important for later turns. And we can place a city. That's cool. So let's do that. Place a city. Also, this one is worth one point at the end of the game. Now, green cards, we can stack like this. I only need to see the tags maybe for later. A city! Wow! How does placing a city works? Well, we can put it on any spot except for the blue ones. Those are reserved for oceans. And it cannot be adjacent to another city. Now, cities whoops, score one point for each greenery adjacent to it, no matter whose greenery it is. So we might want to place it somewhere that's useful for us, although I don't see any great place. Uh, I want to place it on a spot with a symbol on it, so we can get a bonus out of it. Which is not happening at this moment. Oh, that sucks a little bit. So the first cities are placed really poorly for me. Hmm. So let's not look at the points too much at this moment in time. Uh, yeah, what am I going to do? Hmm. I do want to place the ice asteroid later, which can use titanium or maybe the water splitting plant is also something I want to do but I want to place the ice asteroid first so let's build it here on Pavonis Mons now as you can see or not let's try and zoom in a little bit it has a symbol uh, two symbols here that means if you build something on it you get that as a bonus so we place our city there we get one plant and one titanium let's do it like this and to indicate that this is ours, we put one of our cubes on it as well. We get one plant and one titanium and we put those on our player board. And it looks like with the stuff I still have here, there's not that much I can do. So I think is this going to end generation two? They're slowly there, just built a domed crater. Uh, they're trying to get this plan started. So what we're going to do is production again. So first, everything that was here would go here. There is nothing there. And then we're going to produce. We're still at 14 on the point track. So that means we had 14 plus three this time. So get 17. 
space money. We don't have any of this as production. We do get some heat, so we get three heat. There we go. And that's that. So we're going to a generation three and we start again by drawing four cards to research. So four cards again that we can buy. We have four green cards. So let me check these out and see what we keep. All right, I'm only going to buy one, this geothermal power. That's the only one I'm going to buy. Uh, remove the other ones, pay three million for it. Now this is going to be a very short one here. So put this into the hand. And, well, let's start playing Generation 3. I'm only going to do one thing, people. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's not that exciting. I'm going to play the Ice Asteroid. <laughs> now, this cost us 23, but as you can see, it has this space symbol here. That means we can pay these cards uh, also with Titanium. I have one Titanium, so I'm going to pay that. Titanium is worth 3, so we still have to pay 20. That means I'm going to pay both of these golden ones. And that means the asteroid is coming and it has one big effect. We can place two ocean tiles. Okay, so we take an ocean pile, one of the nine that we have to place and we can place it anywhere we want. Now we still have to keep in mind that each time afterwards we play as a tile next to an ocean tile, we get two million credits. So, uh, love to place him on one of these to get the bonus but I think I'm going to place it a little bit closer to where I am so I'm going to place it right over here and that gives me a reward of two plants so let's put two plants on our player board as well as one point so placing an ocean tile gives you one point so I'm going to 15 on the track it gives me also more income at the production phase now I can place two oceans so let's place another one Let's place a second one and I think I'm going to place it right next to it. It gives me another two plants and that gives me more things to do this round. Also, one more point, so I'm going to 16 and now let's go to our player board. Because, because of the placements of, the, of those two tokens, I have eight plants here and I'm going to spend these eight as a next action. So I'm going to spend eight of my plants and that allows me to place a greenery on the board one of these tiles now this has one rule to place it has to be next to a tile if you own if possible of course so let's go to mars but first let me do something i forgot i also received two million because i played an event remember it all started with the ice asteroid here and uh, when i play an event i get two space dollars and that's what my company does that's my corporation special effect now again to mars where we are going to place our greenery all right so again we have to place it next to a tile we already own so i can only put it next to my city over there now i love to go get closer to the oceans here now this is farther away that but that gives me more plants this is closer gives me only one plant but well it's there faster so it gets money more fast so i'm going but i'm going to do it here and it gives me two more plants let's take those immediately i also put one of my cubes here to indicate that it is mine and when you build a greenery you also score one point there we go we go to 17 and oxygen goes up one so there we go it's generation three and we finally got some oxygen on mars but still a long way to go people all right let's go and do something else because now i've got two more space dot bucks here i can still buy something else and i'm going to place um yeah i'm going to do this first so i can place this geothermal power it can use steel to build so i'm going to pay five which is worth 10 so we still need one more so let's pay one more million and then we can build the geothermal power which increases our energy production by two let's do that wow this is going to help us with cards in the future all right so now we only have one million left and no steel so 
I guess this generation is done as well and that means also the end of this video so as you can see we finally managed to do some things on Mars we have a city we have a greenery two oceans so we're on our way but uh, it's hard this is looking really hard I hope we can make it we have well a few generations left to do so we still need to do a lot so let's hope that will work and um, so I invite you to the next video of course to part 3 where we will continue terraforming Mars I thank you all for watching if you like what you see give me a thumbs up if you are not subscribed yet well feel free to push the subscribe button and do so and also feel free to comment below always happy to see your comments in the comment section all right you can also visit me on twitter i'm at vitruvian gamer you can find me on instagram lately i'm vitruvian gamer 21 or send me an email to vitruvian gamer at gmail.com that's vitruvian with ve not vi for the email address all right folks thanks again for watching and i see you all soon in the future on the planet of mars thanks and bye bye